Hey, it's Marin, and this is your May 2019 forecast for Taurus Risings. Starting out with what's going on in relationships for you. On the second, we have a Mercury trying to Jupiter and square to Pluto happening in your 12th, 8th, and 9th houses. So there might be some clarity around deception that you had once encountered around shared finances. There might have been some gray area regarding that that you're now getting clarity over. But there also could be some manipulation regarding that money in terms of your education or travel plans. Maybe you're understanding what manipulation kind of went on in some sort of shared financial world, but it's then being used against you for your higher dreams, however that's playing out in your life. On the 8th, there's a sun sextile to Neptune happening between your 1st and 11th houses, which means that there's just some nice uh, harmony and dreaminess regarding yourself and your friends. So this, the 8th would be a great day to get together with like friend groups or social situations and hang out there. On the 9th, Venus will try and Jupiter and square to Pluto further, illuminating the situation regarding deception, shared money, and dreams. You might get surprise financial benefits from a partner that like you could be getting an inheritance or you could be getting some sort of shared bank deposit type of thing without you really knowing it, but doing so could put a strain on education or travel plans. Like something good might come, but it's, it's impairing and it's messing with some higher dreams that you're having. On the 15th, Venus enters Taurus, entering your first house. So when Venus is in the first house, you go whatever you want and you're just beautiful. Now when Venus enters your first house, it's just, there's generally more harmony regarding yourself and people tend to smile at you more, find you more attractive. There tends to be more ease regarding your self identity and projection. The 15th Mars enters Cancer in your third house. So Mars, particularly if you were born during the day, can indicate some strife in a certain area of life. If you were born at night, it's more likely to be constructive, but with it moving into your third house, there might be some tension with siblings or neighbors this May. On the 18th, there's a full moon in Scorpio in your seventh house. So full moons are times of completion for the past six months in that area of our life. So around six months ago, a relationship began, a partnership, whether that was romantic or not. And this is a high point, a completion or a culmination point for that relationship that it's a good time to celebrate it. On the 18th, Venus conjoins Uranus in your first house. And this can represent a surprise or unexpected aesthetic choice on your part. So on the 18th, there's a good chance that you'll be doing something physically to yourself, maybe getting like new clothes, or it could be as drastic as, you know, dyeing or cutting your hair, but definitely something aesthetic and surprising happening. Doesn't have to be crazy, but you know, it's happening. It's in the astrology. On the 30th, Venus will sextile Neptune, and this is between your first and 11th houses. So a dreamy opportunity with friends here, really nice day to hang out with those around you as well on the 30th and on the 31st venus will try and saturn between your first and ninth houses so there might be grounded plans to connect with someone on long distance travel or through education there's more ease and harmony between you and some higher plan a higher dream and higher aspiration nearing the end of the month you might very well be implementing some travel plans or some education plans now moving on to your career and money stuff. On the 4th, there's a new moon in Taurus in your first house. And this isn't necessarily career or money related, but it is not one of relationships. New moons in the first house are times of planting new seeds regarding yourself and self identity. So you very well could be wanting to embark on a new self development journey, make some aesthetic changes to yourself. I do think for this month as a Taurus rising, you're going to be changing a bit how you look with this first house and some Uranus energy going on. Then on the fifth, there's a Mars opposing Jupiter happening between your second and eighth houses. So there's definitely a chance of overspending with a partner or overspending in terms of shared finances. Like if you share a credit card with your husband, might very well be going overboard on the credit card yourself and having some over the top dramatic situation then. Something like that could happen. On the 11th, the sun will try and Saturn between your first and ninth houses. So definitely a good time to make plans regarding travel or education around the 11th. On the 13th, the sun will try and Pluto happening between your first and ninth houses as well. So there's this drive to pursue goals outside of ourselves. So there's this 
drive this month to make those travel plans, to follow those educational dreams, to embark on a spiritual quest. There's a lot of ninth house energy that's really beautiful this month. Then on the 21st, the Sun and Mercury enter Gemini and have a Kazemi conjunction together in your second house. So 21st, information about money will be coming in, whether that's it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be getting money, but you'll have information about money matters on the 21st. On the 29th, Mercury will square Neptune, happening between your 2nd and 11th houses. So definitely some difficulty regarding communication about finances that you share with groups. Make sure that there's you're not the one deceiving others and watch out that you're not being deceived by a larger group about finances. On the 30th, Mercury will oppose Jupiter, happening between your 2nd and 8th houses. So 30th, definitely as this month closes up, don't overpromise payment or finances or financial growth with a partner that you know you can't promise. There is a big possibility of wanting to say something for the sake of having that come true. But if you can't actually execute that financial deed on your end, like that's just like fucked up. <laughs> don't do it. This month has a focus on your identity changing kind of quirkily or kind of, is that a word? It's just your identity's changing physically, specifically, and in terms of the identity that you hold going after higher dreams, could be some travel plans or education plans on the horizon. So I hope this was helpful. I do offer private consultations down below. So if you're interested, check that out. Like, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you soon.